So I just wanted to give you a bit of a background of how I really started to learn about control and automation systems and electrical controls. And I've got some images to show you. When I was an electrical controls engineer or a trainee electrical controls engineer um, for R&B Industrial, um, doing industrial ventilation amongst other things, but mainly, mainly industrial ventilation, we were often on site for breakdowns with our ventilation system, but there was usually BMS systems there as well. So whenever this was the case, if I could access the panel without switching off the system and get into it, uh, that's exactly what I would do. And I actually worked out a little way to get into the system, bypass the mechanical interlock of the isolator handle, and was able to get into it even if it was on um, without switching it off. And this is exactly what I used to do. So for, I'd have my smartphone and obviously I would be there for something else, but I would just take five or 10 minutes whilst I was on site and just take as many photos as I possibly could. So from outside the panel and then once inside, I'd take multiple photos close up, zoomed out of inside the panel. So as you can see here, and this was a project in Newbury, um, Berkshire, UK, where I live, um, of a theatre. So it's a, yeah, I think it was, um, oh, what's the name of the theatre? The Corn Exchange. So we were there on site. We didn't do the BMS. We were doing the industrial ventilation and one of the dampers um, that we were controlling had failed or something and it was it was coming up on the BMS. So in this example, I actually had a reason to, to open up the BMS. Um, and you can see here that the fire damper that we were controlling, um, or not controlling, sorry, um, maintaining and looking after the fire damper um, was causing an issue uh, and it was flagged on the BMS. Just a quick one, sorry to interrupt, but this video that you're watching right now is actually a lesson taken from our new training program that's coming out this Friday. And if you wanted to master the first steps in controls and automation, giving you a very solid foundation, enabling you to feel more confident in working in control panels, working with systems, understanding relays, contactors, PLCs, and how they all work together. Also enabling you to fault find and diagnose systems far more efficiently, and even the ability to start designing your own control and automation systems across any industry. Then if that sounds good, click the link in the description right now, and I'll make sure that I send you the other early access free training videos coming out this week, and I'll let you know when the program goes live on Friday. So yeah, coming back to, to what I did, so as you can see, I just basically took photos of absolutely everything. Um, so this gave me a good understanding of how panels are laid out. And then once I started taking pictures of the schematics as well, um, here you can see the fire damper actually. So that was the fire damper. But then I'd also, if they had the schematics there, I'd then take pictures of the schematics. And as you can see, this was me taking pictures of the schematics. And then what I'd do, once I got home, um, also they weren't as useful, but I would take pictures of some of the field devices. But yeah, that didn't really help much, but certainly having pictures of the panel close up and zoomed out. Close up's important because then you can get, you can see what labels are being used. Um, that's not a good image. So here, pretty obvious, but main controller, that's this one labeled. You can see these relays down here, so like R317. So it's important that I got those images. So when I did get home, and then I was looking at the images of the schematics, I could then see, so this is R317, I could then see what physical relay was being used when we, in the example of a relay, but for everything else as well. And yeah, without the on-site pressure and, and just being able to go over things in my own time, then I was able to piece things together and pretty much reverse engineer that system. Um, so I'd get a good understanding of how that system works, how it's been designed, get a good understanding of relay logic as well, and how panels are laid out. 
So this is basically how I taught myself at least the starting point of control and automation systems. Just a final reminder to click the link in the description so I can send you those early access free training modules from the program that's going live this week.